welcome to another free tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to build a combo box to search for records in your form. Here I have a simple customer form, first name, last name, company name, and so on. What I'd like to do is create a combo box, a drop-down box, to quickly search for a customer based on his company name. To do that, let's go to Design View, right-click here, Design View. You can put it at the top or the bottom of the form. I'll put it down toward the bottom, so I'll make some extra room down here. Now, go up to your Form Design Tools Design tab, open up the toolbox, and find the Combo Box Control. Click on it, come down here toward the bottom, click where you want the Combo Box to go. The Combo Box Wizard appears. You have three options. I'm interested in the third option. I talk about the first two in my full classes. I want to find a record on my form based on the value I select in my combo box. Hit next. Which field do you want to search on? Company name. Then click on this little button right there to bring it over to the right side in the selected fields column. Hit next. You can resize this so you can see all your data. Next. What label would you like to give it? How about company search colon that's the little label that goes next to it and then hit finish and there's my search box right there I'll just move it up a little bit and resize it like so alright there's my search box I'm going to save the form and I like to close my forms down and then reopen them again and now if I want to search for a company I just drop this down it opens it up I can pick which company I'm looking for and then it jumps right to that company see there's one two three packing Drop it down, go to Access Learning Zone, and there it is. Forestry Services, and there it is. And that's how easy it is to make a combo box that searches for a record in your database. Now, if you want to learn more about working with combo boxes, I cover them in my Access 2010 Beginner Level 8 class. We cover building combo boxes based on value lists table-based combo boxes where the values come out of a table or query, multi-column combo boxes, here you can see the state abbreviation and the state name, learn more about the search combo box like we did today, we also cover list boxes which are a cousin of combo boxes, and in this class I also teach you all about tab order. So again come to accesslearningzone.com and look for my Access 2010 Beginner Level 8 class.